Hey there, so in this video, I'm going to quickly talk about the different types of Bitcoin addresses. There is legacy, nested SegWit, and native SegWit. So let's start off with legacy. Legacy is basically the original Bitcoin address. So when Bitcoin first started, these were the address types that they used. It all started with a one. And here is an example of a legacy wallet address. Now the pro of this is that it's the most compatible wallet type because it is the original wallet address. So pretty much everything supports legacy. Now the con to this is that it's the most expensive when you want to send out Bitcoin. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Now, nested SegWit is an improvement on legacy and basically their addresses all start with a three. So as you can see, it starts with three here, right? So this is an example. Now, one of the pros is that it has lower fees. This means when you're sending out Bitcoin, it will charge you less in a minor fee. So that's one good pro. The other thing is that it has multi signature. This means that you require a certain number of people to sign off on a transaction. For example, for legacy, only you or one person would need to sign off on a transaction. But here you would need or you can opt in to have many people sign off on a transaction. And that's one of the features or I guess a pro of this. Now a con is that it's still a little bit more expensive to send out. It's still cheaper than legacy, but it's a little bit more expensive than the last option. So the last option here is native segue all of the addresses start with BC1. This is an example. Now the pro is that it's the lowest transaction fee when you send Bitcoin out. So that's the first thing. And then the second thing is that it's case insensitive. So do you see how all of these are just kind of lowercase or this is a mix of upper and lower case. So over here for nested SegWit and legacy, it is case sensitive. So you have to make sure that it is a upper or lower case. But for native SegWit, it doesn't matter. So that's one of the pros. Now the con is that not all wallets support this type just because they haven't moved their systems or their software to support this type. So yeah, that's pretty much the difference in all three Bitcoin address types. If you are currently using legacy, I think more or less sooner or later, people will start supporting native SegWit just because it has the lowest transaction fees. And I don't think people want to continue paying more in fees than they really should. So I think it's just a matter of time before people will start upgrading their software to native SegWit. Well, anyways, I hope you found this video informative or educational. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below because I do check and I do respond. If you think that there's someone who'll get some value out of this video, please share it with them. If you're interested in receiving notifications of my future videos, then hit that subscribe button. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.